Well, what is up guys? Welcome back to another Berk Fishing Outdoors video. It's been a busy winter. I uh, just got back up to the lodge here at Gangler's. Um, finishing off the last little bit of the winter caretaking. I, uh, I got out of here February 10th, I think. And I went home uh, down down to uh, Verdon, Manitoba. And I ended up going up to Flin Flon to guide at Baker's Narrows Lodge for the month of March. And uh, got ready to do the turnaround here. Just got up here yesterday. So she's been a busy winter, but I got a little bit of downtime here before the open water season starts. And I got lots of ice up here. So lots of ice, lots of snow, lots of slush. But uh, we're going to get out there. I'm probably going to do some lake trout. Um, and then... I don't know maybe I'll split it up do some lake trout in the morning here and I might even do some pike in the evening I uh, I'm definitely a little more prepared this this go around so we're gonna head out there and uh, I'll see you on the ice all right well we're, uh, we're out on the ice here this is uh, day two I just came out and did some scouting yesterday and got my tent set up on a spot and uh, yeah just got here this morning just had to just had to break open my holes they weren't froze over because I left the left the tent out here and uh, yeah we are fishing um, as soon as I got my scope in there's a there's a good mark on the bottom I didn't get down to it in time but hopefully it'll be around and we can see what it was but uh, yeah it's uh Minus 10 out and snowing today, so a little bit of a cooler ride out of, onto the lake uh, compared to the last few days, so anyway, this is a uh, new live scope uh, head unit. This is the 106 SV Ultra 2 um, 10 inch screen. Pixelation count is a lot higher. The, the picture quality is so much more crisper and smoother it's a it's a pretty good step up from the 93 that I had prior um, and I've also upgraded to a 50 amp hour Norse battery for my shuttle um, all kinds of power picked that up at Stillwater Adventures in Verdon um, it comes with a standard 3 amp charger but you can get a 7 amp charger for it which uh, definitely speeds up the process of charging your battery if uh, you're charging daily like I am once I get going into the season here you know I use this thing every day so anyway I'm going to uh, get some cameras positioned here and uh, see if we can get on some fish I'll be back with you guys shortly well I uh, was just gonna get, get the camera set up and uh, yeah we just grabbed uh, a little walleye hopefully he's not barotrauma I'm fishing 50 feet of water here so I uh, wasn't expecting to be getting any walleye off bottom oh and I got a nice mark up top here I got a reel up too one second See if we can get that guy's attention. Oh yeah. Anyway, that one swam through too. Maybe I'm gonna have to switch it up. They aren't liking what I'm putting in front of them. So I might change colors. I'm gonna go to my white, my original white tube jig uh, drop tine just gonna make it simple just just a single hook single hook and uh, yeah we're gonna change it up because I've had two two Lakers I, th I think that have swam through and uh, they weren't interested at all too much flash maybe um, I will uh, switch it up and uh, we'll get back down there. Okay. 
guys. That one did not look interested. Anyway, I'll pull up here and I'll show you what, what I'm using um, for my Laker. This is uh, Drop Time Micro Micro Mac. Uh, it's a little setup with uh, a little spinner blade on the back for some flash. Uh, it's got a treble on the front and then yeah, the tube jig head. Um, I've used a lot, a lot of lake trout uh, tubes over the past few years, and nothing compares to this guy's. This guy's hooks, uh, they're just like literally, you, you get them out of the package, and like if you get it stuck in your clothing or anywhere, like it, it's like so, so sticky. They're uh, really sharp, like really sharp and hooks, and they're so strong. Um, Highly recommended if you guys are looking for tube jigs, quality tube jigs that uh, you know can take a bit of a beating between like pike and and lakers and walleye, um, biting the plastic. Uh, these plastics really seem to withstand a lot of uh, a lot of uh, torture from fish biting. So I am uh, sold on these. These are my go-to now. That's all I uh, really run. Um, yeah. Give them, a, give them a go. You'll like them. Alright guys. Switched over to a drop tine micro mac white tube jig. It's about two and a half inch tube jig. Um, I had a nice mark coming along the bottom here. I dropped, dropped, and it came in. It's gonna reel up and park it. Maybe I'll, I'll reel right up. I'll show you guys what this tube jig looks like. It's basically the same as the highlighter color I was using before. Other than it's just white. Two and a half inch. It's uh, good for this time of the year. Got a nice mark coming in here at the bottom. Come on. Here, here we go. Oh yeah. My drag's super loose. We got him that time though. There we go. Ha! Oh yeah, this is it. There we go. Look at that guy go. I hope he doesn't get tangled in my other line. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Right off bottom. Come on. I gotta be careful because I got my heater on this side. Oh, and I think he's wrapped him other line. We'll crack that bale open. There's my leader. So much ice here. Oh yeah. That's a decent laker. Decent laker. And boom. He's here. Sweet. Absolutely crushed it. Easy fella. Pliers out. Trying to see where he's got the hook. Right there. Hooks out. Nice. We'll give him a quick drink. It's 
definitely stung him. He took that one right, right in the gill. I don't even know if I'm gonna measure him, but I'll throw him on the board. Twenty-seven and a half. Nice Laker. I'm gonna send him right back. Boom. Just like that. Done. That one came crushing in. Use my nice towel that my good friend's daughters got me for a Christmas gift. Paisley and Leah, thanks for the fish towel for Christmas. You guys are the best. All right, well, we got a Laker. Let's see if we can get another one. Just a simple, a simple change. Switched over to the, to the white tube and uh, it didn't take long for that one to come in and absolutely crush that. So that's awesome, guys. Let's get back in there. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you something cool about this new head unit. Um, in the Active Captain here, it's basically the app for the Garmin. Um, with the new, new 106 Ultra 2, you got a helm function which opens up a screen your basically it's your screen you can click on it and then it shows you it shows you exactly what your screen is showing you um you can screen record if you'd want if you want to but the cool thing about it is is you can change everything right from your phone so like if i want to change anything in my settings or whatever i can do it all right from here so it's kind of handy um if you uh whatever need to make make a few adjustments you don't have to go up to your unit and uh get your screen all covered with watermarks and whatnot and uh yeah just thought i'd show you guys that feature i uh i really like that it's pretty cool Well, that's not what I wanted to happen. <laughs> I uh, had a Laker come in and uh, I got a Callens jig on with, uh, with a minnow on this one. This one was just for burbot. But sometimes you just catch Lakers on your walleye stuff. I mean on your burbot stuff. Yeah, there we go. GoPro start recording. I didn't have my other camera running. Go figure. All right. Oh, this guy's taking me right back to bottom. Uh, not a bad looking mark on the screen. I'm going to say it's probably another... Oh, I don't know. Probably another... Mid 20s, maybe even smaller, maybe 25. Uh, I could see them down there now. Oh, oh, there we go. Eh, not a bad Laker again. Decent one. All right. Easy, buddy. Easy, easy. Okay, there we go. 
Yeah, Callan's uh, Callan's tube jig. Well, he's got that one weird. I need pliers for that one. Got that one weird. There we go. Hooks out. Throw those there so they don't go in the water. Get a quick drink. Another nice mid 20s liquor. Chunker. That'd be a that'd be a good eater. Probably too big though. Anyway, we'll send him back home. See you later, buddy. Perfect. Another good one. Ooh, my transducer just slid over or something. Cool. Yeah, that one was just on a Callan's, uh, Callan's, uh, walleye jig. I had, uh, had that down for, uh, burbot. And, uh, the Laker just surpassed my, my tube jig and crushed this, so. Sometimes you get them on these, too. Definitely a lot funner on a smaller, uh, lighter rod, that's for sure. All right, well, we'll get set, set up. I'm actually gonna switch over. I got some, uh, some uh, stuff from Stillwater for, strictly for burbot. I wasn't expecting to uh, get these ones, or get Lakers on that, so. Anyway, I'm gonna get set back up and uh, get down there. Yeah, so these are, uh, these are what I was talking about. I picked these up from Stillwater Adventures in uh, Verdon. They're called Big Nasty Tackle. Um, supposed to be a really, really super glow. Um, I was kind of hoping to use these uh, later in the day for uh, the burbot bite, but uh, I'm gonna set one up now and uh, see how it goes. I might, uh, what's this one, 5 eighths, half ounce. I think I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to tie on a tube, or a, a jig head one, and uh, we'll give that a go. I'll get it charged up, and uh, yeah, we'll give that a go. Throw a minnow on it. Alrighty, well, we got the big nasty, I think this is a half ounce uh, jig head. I'm just going to give her a quick charge with the cell phone here, and uh, we'll see uh, see what the glow's all about. These are supposed to be some of the some of the best glowing jigs out there. Now it's probably close to 30 seconds. All right, shut the flashlight off. Looks like she glows pretty good. I'm uh, I'm just gonna get it down there. Anyway, this is how I like to hook my minnows. Through the eyes, and then through the back of the spine. Put your knot horizontal. There we go. We'll send it off. <clears throat> Gotta love fluoro. This one's got an extremely long leader on it. Make sure my drag set, because I'm notorious for that. There. I'm set that down. Bada bing, bada boom. be good all right guys well I'm gonna call that a, a day might slow down pretty good so that's uh that's gonna be it for me this is what we're dealing with out here anyway stay tuned for another one I will uh, hopefully be doing some pike soon so 
we'll see you on the next one cheers guys